let me introduce <laughs> let me introduce my next guest, Sheila Muniri and Faith Johnson. They say that a friend that they trusted violated their friendship in a way that for Faith today, she's very emotional about this. And for Sheila as well, because she lost a boyfriend to this friend. Please welcome them to the show. Sheila and Faith, welcome to Real Talk. Thank you. So probably tell me about your friendship, because I understand once upon a time, you were the three musketeers. And then the third musketeer decided, I'm going to mutiny, and now you're left as the dynamic duo. Yep. So uh, our friendship dates back to our campus days. We didn't know each other before, but we happened to be in the same uni, and we were posted to the same hostel. We had a room of four. So there was the three of us. Then the fourth person decided she wanted to live with her boyfriend. So it was just the three of us. Faith, myself, and... Girl X. Girl X. <laughs> so we grew very close. We like shared everything, introduced each other even to relatives and other friends. And then when we were still in first year, I started dating someone who was in fourth year. So he soon graduated. We were left in school. Somewhere along the way, probably third year thereabout, we decided to move out of campus got a place of our own, just the three of us. We feel we're growing up, independent So again, girls. the three musketeers. Yes. Close, neat, tight, best friends. The best of friends. So, um, girl X was the quiet type. So if we are going out, she'll be like, nah, I think I'll just go home and visit my parents for the weekend. Or she'll be like, I have assignments, I have to study for cats. So she was more of the person who'll be home almost all the time. If you need something delivered, you know, if she's not in the house, she's somewhere around the house. So there was that kind of trust. She's our responsible friend, mm -hmm. or so we thought. So, um, you know, you'll order something, maybe a piece of furniture, and the boyfriend, being the man of the house, will be like, ah, don't worry, I'll come deliver. You don't have to worry about it. And then maybe we'll be somewhere else. And then we'll be like, ah, don't worry, girl X is in the house. You can just go deliver. So at that point, you're the only one who's dating. Uh, she was also dating at the time. And girl X was very single. She was very single, nice lady, <coughs> just trying to get through her studies and you know, visit her parents for the weekend, just being a good girl. Um, so uh, my boyfriend and I had planned a trip to go to Nakuru. And then a week before we went, he starts saying, uh, I'm going on a work trip. I'm not sure I'll be back by the date we're supposed to travel. And then we were supposed to go on a Saturday. So on Thursday, he calls me and he's like, yeah, it's confirmed. I won't be back in time. So I'm so upset. I'm like, I've planned this whole thing. I've even done an itinerary of things we're going to do while we're there. And I go to Faith. And I'm like, imagine. Hmm? This trip I've been hyped for is not going to happen. So we're like, eh. So we just be independent women and just go for the trip ourselves. So you made it into a girl's trip? We tried. So we tell our girl ex, eh, yo, we decided to go on a trip to Nakuru, just girls. And she's like, mm, no, I think I'll just go to my folks' place. We're like, sour, it's cool. So along the way, we decide, you know what, let's just do a dinner, some drinks, just treat ourselves, then we can just come and chill for the weekend. So Faith and I go to a restaurant, make our orders, we chill. And then this is in Nakuru, right, Faith? No, mm -hmm. we stayed in Nairobi, actually. Okay. And then now when we left, we went and just had dinner somewhere. And then we've ordered our things. We're just relaxing. And then Kwazile Harakati to us, channel like, hey, can you see those guys over there? Look at those guys over there. And I'm like, wait, is that not our girl ex? Is she like on a date because she's with somebody upon a closer look? The somebody is your The somebody is my somebody. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so... For like five minutes, I was literally frozen in the spot because I'm like, no, no, what, what am I seeing? So I tell her, she's like, ah, ah, turn it to Ulize. Let's turn it to Ulize. Labda kuna explanation. Flani tuneza pata. So I'm curious, what, what did you think, Faith, when you saw girl X with her boyfriend? Me, me, because I didn't expect, like, I couldn't expect that. So at that point, you just thought it was innocent? Yeah, we thought... Okay, maybe to tap at explanation in it makes sense. Small chance, but possible. But still, it was weird for you. Your friend being out with your boyfriend, and Who's you, you knew nothing about town. it. Yeah. So, to kinda, we ask, okay, so what is this? Guy tries to deny. He's like, no, actually, I've just checked in. We've just come back. 
story, stories. So I'm like, so how did the two of you end up, you know? But before he could even answer, our girl X goes ballistic. She's like, no, you people think you're the only ones who have lives. Even me, I have a life of my own. You neglect your men. Who do you think takes care of your men? So I'm like. So when she says man, is it both your boyfriends at this time or just your boyfriend? No, at the time it was just my boyfriend. So she starts even naming other incidents of like when we had made plans and things bounced and apparently they were together the whole time. Okay. So we, that was just, for, for me that was it. Broke up with him, we kicked her out of our house, just go be together, just you're out of this friendship. We tell all our other friends like, if you're gonna stay friends with her, this is what to expect, just be, be, so be aware. did she keep then dating who I believe now became your ex-boyfriend? Uh, for about two or three more weeks. And then that ended? He was on to the next, so that ended as well. Our friendship, our relationship, their relationship, within a month, everything was done. So Faith, has she tried, Galex tried to reach out to the both of you to get back your friendship? No. Yeah, but we forgot to leave Sahau Kabsa, like to leave Kando Kwa Maisha Zetu, and we continued in a life, no, no? So to ka grow, to ka grow, we started even working, and uh, she was doing nursing. I didn't leave Sahau, and then my dad got sick. Akahaba mekuja azin, dadaka leto Nairobi, because of Shago. In Ajulikananga, Nairobi is the best place. So dad akaleto Nairobi. So dad when yalikuja Nairobi, akadmitiwa. When your dad ali admitiwa, tukakuja tuki check in, tuki check in. Okay, I was just telling God, God, if, if you love me, don't just take dad away from me, you know? And nikanyamaza uh, too. Like, tukakua mama kakam, tukakua tukenda tuku visit dad. Until the day I met, until ile siku tulienda kuvisit dad, and nika, nika pata ame, yani ame improve ya keote. Like I said, hey, thank you, God. Dad, ame improve, nini, nini, kala imerudi. Then my dad told me, hey, Faith, kesho, unilete samaki. I'm like, hey, nika pigia Sheila. Sheila, my dad is well, aminyambeta ni mlete, nini? Samaki. Sheila kasema even, ata mimi nita mletea samaki. So sisi wote tuka, aka, aka kuja na ayo, tuka patana usi. Mam pia likuja na samaki, as in, we were there so happy. There was a lot of fish for him. Yeah. God. Kufika kwa ward, we met a lot of people surrounding my dad. Wako, niko like, dad alisema jana tumlete samaki, what's happening? Tukambua tutoke inje. Venya tulitoka nje, imagine the same girl, akakuja akanya, as in, ilikuwa shift yake, like, alikuwa na waku uko, sijui kama alikuwa internship ama ni nini, alikuwa na waku uko. Akakuja akanyambia, I will never forget those words. <laughs> what did she say to you? She told me, hapo, wezi saidika, only prayers that can help, na akaenda. And Nico like, doka kakuja. Nico like, ni miambiwa dada hezi saidika ni only prayers that can help. Patu hezi asi hezi msaidia. Hai, Nico like, what else can help my dad? Aka niambia ni apelekwe ICU. Nico like, ICU, I run, I ran. Adi ICU, mi mwenyewe. Nika ingia ICU hivo tu. Na nika kosa, aku kuwa na bed. Like, doctors wakaniambia kuna bed. Niko like, nika ita shila kando, tukaka, ikafika lunchtime, tukafukuzwa sisi wote kwa ward. Nika sema sitoki. Kidogo, kidogo, nikaona ile kitu kubeba maiti, mepitia hapo karibu yangu, inaenda kwa room. Niko like, God, kwani dada mekufa kwa ilinge in the room that my dad was. So you realize that uh, it's actually not your dad it's who's not, yeah. passed away, it's uh, the patient who was sharing the same room with him. Yeah, I knelt down and said, thank you, God. At least you're not taking dad away from me. I want to prove that chick wrong, that you out of chukua dad. I know prayers that prayers will help. To Karudi home, to Kambua to see Kuja next. Unajoki pigiwa simu usi, wambue, don't come again. 
like msikuje tena hospitali you just know hakuna mtu like tulip, venye tu tulifika home tuka receive a phone call tukaambiwa don't come kesho yeah tukaambiwa tusikuje kesho like ame pass and then niko like eh hey god huyu dem alikuwa anasema ukweli like only prayers that can help nime nimeomba 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 lakini you've taken him away from me mbona but i thank god until today anything any me nataka anything that my dad was doing to me until now si kosagi yeah so in the context of this friend of yours and probably Sheila because faith is very emotional faith do you believe that she had any foul play when it came to your dad's passing me i don't know no because i don't know me nilifika kwa tumefika kwa ward sisi wote tunampata dada ko surrounded even i didn't tell my anybody i know that chick until now aku, mama jui bro jui hakuna mtu anajua that huyo dem nilikuwa namjua na hizo maneno stays is how like alisema tu you can't do anything only prayers that can help niko like only prayers i'll pray and i prayed it never worked but i know yeah sorry for your loss i can tell it deeply affected you and probably then maybe just to put this into perspective because here we have two young ladies and i'm seeing that both of you are very very now you know you guys are your friends eh yeah. sir in the spirit of ikulia yes yes so calm down yes so then maybe just in the spirit of this because you can tell she's deeply affected and i understand i understand the whole issue of girl x being a former friend so with her yes girl x told her boyfriend but here i kind of feel like also there's an issue of dealing with loss faith losing a father is not a small thing and so we appreciate your loss and we just want to celebrate the life of your father even as you remember him and even as you mourn him because mourning takes takes sometimes it takes a lifetime and so we appreciate that and thank you so much for sharing with us this particular story whether girl x had anything to do with what happened to your father or not this there's, there's something that the girl x said that was very very hurtful it cut very deep it cut very very yes. deep and this is what a bad friend can do because you had given this uh, friend so called friends all this trust and all this thing and then say those kind of words those are not the words of a friend a friend would see you hurting and tell you let's pray together a, t- a friend would see the hurting and say oh, let's let me encourage you so that was not a true friend and even as we talking about bad friends i just want us to appreciate that what we seeing today over here these are good friends yeah she is a very good this friend this is a good yeah? so let's give them a clap for being yeah. such <laughs> She she is feeling your pain like it's her own. Yes. Yeah. All alone she keeps saying, "Oh my god, faith is so emotional." Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's very very tough and the gap will always be there. And anything that you cannot prove, don't hold on to it. If you cannot prove any foul play, don't hold on to it. And take back power from this uh fr- former friend. That's a bad friend. Take back power from her because that was spite she was throwing at you and for as long as you keep on holding to that spite, she wins. So it is time for you to take back power and you win and if you're going to win win for you and also win for your dad. Let your dad remember you and make your father proud. Go on and be the most amazing woman that your father ever brought into this world and just go on and do all this stuff in memory of him. And we want to thank you so much for coming here and sharing his amazing story and your amazing story together. Thank you so much and may God bless you. Okay, we'll be right back after this break. Don't go too far. Real talk continues shortly. Alikuwa na nikata na niambia funga na usioneshane na mwili mali please mimi sana niko na vile mtu mnaona mimi ni dem but niko na nikamtolea ndi nguo nikampe please to mam usinifanye. Sisi sote tunahitaji mtu wa kutupenda. 